friends, I'm Ms. Connie from the Hopewell Branch and welcome to another episode of our author study program. Today we are going to learn about author Carrie Lynn Winters. And I have a picture of Carrie Lynn Winters right here. I got that picture from her website. Here is a closer look at that picture of Carrie Lynn Winters. Our program will look like this. We will learn a little bit more about our author Carrie Lynn Winters. We will listen to her read her own story on my walk. We will take a look at her materials available in our catalog at mcl.org, and we will take a quick look at her website. Let's get started. Carrie Lynn Winters is from St. Thomas, Ontario, Canada. Here is a map from Google Maps. Canada is north of the United States. St. Thomas, Ontario, Canada, marked by the green pushpin image, is just north of the U.S. and slightly above Lake Erie. It sits between the state of Wisconsin on the west side and the states of New York and Pennsylvania on the east side. Now we'll learn a little bit about her background. Carrie Lynn Winters was born as Carrie Lynn Moore in St. Thomas, Ontario, Canada. Her urge to travel and explore different cultures and study at schools in different places has led her to live in locations across North America. Leaving hometown St. Thomas, she headed to St. Catharines and Toronto, and then Montreal and Ottawa, back to Toronto, across the world for an adventure in Malaysia and the Philippines, out west to Grants Pass and Ashland, Oregon, down south to Chapel Hill, North Carolina, back north to Barrie, Ontario, and out to Vancouver, British Columbia, and then back to St. Catharines. And she is a picture book author, poet, and performer. She enjoys being in the classroom in any capacity as a presenter, a teacher, or as a student. Um, she finished her doctoral program at UBC in literacy education, and she has an assumed a new job as assistant professor in the Department of Teacher Education at Brock University in St. Catharines, Ontario, where she teaches drama in education to and mentors teacher candidates. Previously, Carrie Lynn also taught in North Carolina, Oregon, Vancouver, and Toronto. She holds a teaching degree from the University of Toronto for children ages 3 to 13. She is also a graduate of the National Theatre School of Canada in Montreal, where she earned a certificate in technical theatre. Carrie Lynn has over a dozen books published, in, published or in press, many of which have won Reader's Choice Awards. And I was able to get all that information from Carrie Lynn's website at www.carriewinters.com. I think her background helps us understand who she is as an author. She's a teacher and writes nonfiction books like Buzz About Bees and Bite Into Bloodsuckers. These are fact books and provide a lot of scientific information, and I think that sort of represents the teacher in her. She also writes picture books like Pi the Pirate series with Bad Pirate, Good Pirate, and Best Pirate, and I think maybe that represents the side of her that likes theater. And then she writes books that are kind of a combination. So she has poetry books, but they're about math and science. So that seems to represent the teacher who likes the nonfiction part and maybe the part of her that likes theater and is a little more creative because they are fun poems. So she does a little bit of everything, which I don't usually see in a, ch a children's author. You usually see a nonfiction writer or a picture book writer or a poetry writer, but she does all three in one. Now we will listen to Carrie Lynn Winters read her own book, On My Walk. Hi, I'm Carrie Lynn Winters, and I'm going to be reading a book called On My Walk. And I wrote this book. Christina Leist illustrated it, and it was published by Trade Wooden Books. Ooh, it's a new book. On my walk. My summer walk. 
I hear a horse. Clippity clop, clippity clop, and a frog. Frippity frop, frippity frop. I see a bug. Hippity hop, hippity hop, and a fish. Flippity flop, flippity flop. I taste a cone. Slippity slop, slippity slop. And catch some rain. Drippity drop, drippity drop. And some rain. Uh oh. On my run, my summer run. Drop, drop. Slop, slop. Flippity flop, flippity flop. Hop, hop. Frop, frop. Clippity clop, clippity clop. All the way home. The end. So that's the book. On my walk. Thank you. Now let's take a look at some of the materials available to you through the library system by Carrie Lynn Winters. On My Bike, from the same series as On My Walk. And Carrie Lynn Winters is the author and the illustrator is Christina Leist. Come along on a whirling twirling bicycle ride through the pathways and trails around the city. Jeffrey and Sloth by Carrie Lynn Winters. Jeffrey can't think of a thing to write, so he doodles instead, only to have his doodle begin to order him about. Jeffrey struggles with the situation until he discovers that the most strong-willed doodle is powerless against a well-told tale. Jeffrey and Sloth is bound to have children rushing for their colored pencils and their pens to see who and what they can create. Buzz About Bees by Carrie Lynn Winters. Imagine a world without bees. Not only would it be less colorful, with fewer wildflowers and flowering plants, it would be less fruitful as well. A world without bees would mean a world where the food supply would be significantly diminished. Global bee researcher Lawrence Packer estimates that bees are responsible for one-third of our food supply. Buzz About Bees is the latest addition to the series that includes low down on earthworms and follows the same formula offering an in-depth look at an endangered and vital part of the natural world. Bite into Bloodsuckers by Carrie Lynn Winters. Most people hear the word vampire and they think of shady nocturnal characters with capes and pointed teeth. But that's all pretend, right? Wrong, bloodthirsty creatures are real but not in the ways you might be imagining them. In fact, there are trillions of vampires creeping, crawling, swimming, buzzing, and even flying among us. Whether they are the fleas that love your pets as much as you do, the bed bugs that snuggle in with you at night, the lampreys that eat your fish dinner before you do, or the seemingly innocent butterflies that flutter above, these vampires come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and species. Hungry for Math, Poems to Munch On by Carrie Lynn Winters and Lori Sherritt Fleming and illustrated by Peggy Collins. An anthology of math-related poems for young readers introduces a range of number concepts from measuring time and recognizing patterns to counting objects and making estimates. Hungry for Science, Poems to Crunch On by Carrie Lynn Winters and Lori Sherritt Fleming and illustrated by Peggy Collins. A collection of fun and educational poems illustrating various science concepts. Bad Pirate by Carrie Lynn Winters illustrated by Dean Griffiths. Barnacle Garrick is bold and saucy and selfish and for a pirate captain, that's good, very good and his crew are all scurvy sea dogs, selfish down to the last flea bitten scuttlebutt. And that's good too. But Augusta Garrick is shy, polite, and selfless. For a pirate, that's bad, very bad. Despite her father's horrible example, the sea pup can't stop helping out. It just might take one terrible storm, a ripped sail, a missing peg leg, and a panicked crew before Augusta can prove that being selfless is a bold and saucy move after all. And that's good, very good indeed. Good Pirate by Carrie Lynn Winters and illustrated by Dean Griffiths. The sea pup is still under pressure to fit in. 
this time by abandoning her love for fancy things when the rest of the crew is captured by Captain Fishmonger's mangy pirate cats, Augusta gets the chance to show just what a well-dressed, sweet-smelling, clever pup can do. Best Pirate by Carrie Lynn Winters and illustrated by Dean Griffiths. Augusta Garrick has proven that her healthful and gentle-hearted ways don't make her a bad pirate. In fact, she is even a good pirate. But when her clumsiness destroys a treasure map and injures first mate Scully, she knows she must learn to be even better. Eager to make things right, Augusta sets out alone for Crossbones Island. She may not have a map, but she is nimble and fearless. At least she is trying to be fearless. But there are strange shadows on Crossbones Island, and the tuna lubber's crew of fierce pirate cats is after the treasure, too. When she finds herself in a dangerous situation with one of the tuna lubbers, will Augusta manage to be the better pirate? Now let's take a look at Carrie Lynn Winters' website at www.carriewinters.com. This is her homepage. If you go to the top of the page, you will see uh, two new books and then some other cute books on the bookshelf that are linked to the pages on the website. Um, if you go just below the bookshelf, you will see the actual pages. So we have publications, about, events, and resources. I opened a tab for each because my laptop is slow to load the pages, but you can click right on the words. Uh, and the artwork on this homepage is from Jeffrey M. Sloth. Now, um, we'll go to the publication page, and on that page you can scroll down and see all of Carrie Lynn's publications. So we'll just pull down the bar and you can see um, all the different things that Carrie Lynn has written. And it's a lot. <laughs> and we'll go to the bi um, about page, which includes her biography information that I used for the earlier portion of the video and the picture also that I used. Um, if you scroll down some more, you'll see information about um, awards. Then we'll go to the events page and under this section you can find out information on author visits as well as some other things. And then we'll go to the resources page and this includes my favorite thing which is free activities for kids and um, if we click on for kids you will see that there are free coloring pages as well as word searches and um, if you scroll way down to the bottom you'll find a crossword puzzle. I want to say a big thank you to Carrie Lynn Winters for sending us the video of her reading on my walk. Remember, you can check out materials using our online catalog at mcl.org. And when they're ready for pickup, you can check out at the branch on open days or curbside on curbside days. Be sure to also check our website for programs as we now offer online programs and outside programs. I hope you enjoyed learning about Carrie Lynn Winters. Thanks for watching. Bye.